Hey, God bless you, my friend and sister Sharon. And today we are discussing, it's your ear. What am I talking about, friends? If you struggle with blasphemous thoughts about our creator and Jesus Christ, if you are doubting your salvation, if you are doubting who Jesus really is, if you are questioning your security in Christ, friends, if you are in a toxic relationship that you're trying to get out of, friends, it's your ear. That's where you are being defeated. What's going on in your ear? Who are you allowing to speak in your ear? There are many people who are struggling with blasphemous thoughts about our creator, blasphemous thoughts about Jesus, blasphemous th thoughts, friends. And let me tell you, friends, we, we, we got to understand we have an adversary. And just like God the Father sends out preachers and exhorters and teachers, the enemy of your soul has the very same. He has preachers, he has prophetess, he has exhorters, he has exactly whatever God has, he mimics that. And we must know and understand, friends, many of them are all over YouTube, most notably. YouTube has become almost like a, 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 it's, it's, it's a meeting place, if you will, for the enemy to cast his 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 net and whoever he could bring in, he will bring you to a place of fear, doubt, and unbelief. He wants your ear. It's your ear. And if you struggle with, with getting past relationships that are no good for you, you know they're not, and you know you've made a uh, effort to get away from that individual. Friends, if you let them get back in your ear, you let them speak into the ear. See, this is a major gate. The ear is your gate to your soul. And the scriptures teach us to do what? Guard our hearts with all diligence. In other words, we don't play when it comes to what we're listening to, who we're listening to. You can't play with it, friends, because all the enemy needs is to get in one seed. That's all he needs is a seed because without a seed, there is no harvest, but you can get a harvest from the seed. So if the individual, you're trying to get away from that individual, you're trying to heal, you're trying to move on, but you keep letting them talk to you. That's how the enemy cultivates the harvest because he has your attention. And once you keep giving over your attention, you end up in spiritual detention. You are detained in the lower parts of your flesh, man. We're talking about the flesh, friends. The flesh can be provoked and stimulated by evil workers of darkness. And this is where, my friends, when, when you and I take lightly the music we're listening to, the preachers, the exhorters, because let's, let's do this right now. We got to, we got to weigh this out evenly. There are many people on YouTube. They love Jesus Christ and they are sincere. You should not, and, and, and it's impossible to agree with everything I say or anybody. You shouldn't agree with everything nobody say. But the, but the, but the, the, the cornerstone, the foundation of everything, friends, is Jesus. So, so, what we have to do is consider and ponder when you listen to anyone, are they dumbing down Jesus Christ's death? Are they telling you straight up that Jesus was not the son of God? He was only a prophet. Any person that's telling you this straight up, friends, you don't give them your ear. You sit and listen to these people, and this is how they begin. Listen, friends, this little gardening tool is for what? Raking and pulling and moving the dirt around. When you listen to someone who's made it clear that they do not believe in your Lord and your Savior, why would you keep listening to them? I don't care what they're talking about. I'm not listening to nobody talk about my Lord. No day of the week. 
I'm not going to sit there and hear anything you got to say because Jesus is the son of God. And there is nowhere chronicled of no human being that was born of a virgin womb, died, got up out of his tomb and was seen in his resurrected body. Friends, not one person but Jesus. There was never ever a miracle chronicled in the New Testament, we find until Jesus turned the water to wine, we don't see the miracle of deliverance and healing from demon spirits until Jesus came. You will not find in any of the scriptures before the New Testament gospels where anyone cast out devils. It was Jesus. So our faith and our hope is in the resurrection that was recorded by those that were in the upper room. They saw Jesus. Thomas, the doubting uh, disciple, touched his hands, his nail-scarred hands. Friends, this is, this is why we, we glorify the Christ because he's a living Savior. So when you let somebody talk about your savior, this is where you open yourself up to blasphemous thoughts. When you listen to comedians who mock scripture, they mock holy things, they mock the church, they mock these things that should not be touched, friends. Some things you just don't touch it. When you are listening to these comedians cracking jokes about the Holy Spirit, it doesn't matter how messy church is quote, church is, you do not make light of it in that manner. And this is where many people are being desensitized because you are giving your ear and your attention to buffoonery, to foolishness, to jesters, and they are just dumbing, they just desensitizing you, my friends. When you are listening to someone and they begin to exalt ethnicity and not our humanity. Ethnicity is what pushes people into racism. And they begin to speak about their history, which please follow me close. Your history began in the Garden of Eden. When Eve was listening to the enemy, she was listening to him. He, he was cunning and he was able to get her to doubt what God had told her. Has God said, God, you know, he just don't want you to become like him because you're going to know some stuff. He will flatter you. He will flatter you to tell you your history. I'm talking about evil workers, friends. When they exalt ethnicity and not humanity as human beings, the family of the entire globe of people, the, hu the human race, we have a problem. It's called sin. And sin entered before there was ever a dividing of races or groups of people. The problem began in Eden. So when you listen to any speaker, most notably on YouTube, that's trying to take you back 400 years, 500 years, no. You got to go back to Eden, friend, because the plan of redemption was set in place the moment they partook of that fruit from that tree that God told them not to eat from that tree. So friends, when you're listening to anyone that is dummying down Christ Jesus' death, resurrection, and who he is, the son of God. When you listen to anyone exalt race, remember, I've said it, I'll say it again. The issue is not skin, it's sin. And before there was ever a dividing of skin, sin entered in the Garden of Eden. And the, and the scriptures tell us that the last Adam, Jesus the Christ, 
settled that debt. And that is why we worship our creator. That is why we exalt Jesus Christ because the plan of redemption was set in place, friends. So so as I close this exhortation, I'm gonna give you one last person to watch for because they will plant those seeds of, of pride and self-exaltation any person, I can't say it and mean it enough, any person that tells you straight up, I'm apostle, I'm prophetess, I'm prophet, run. I don't care, friends, you, it could be you on my channel. You are wrong as two left shoes. Jesus was Jesus. Paul was Paul. All of the men that God used mightily, friends, they were all called by their first name. So here we are having in the, the modern church world, all of these chief apostles, master prophets, friends, they are deceived and they will plant the seed of pride in you. And this is why many of us, we got that monkey on our back constantly in your ear telling you that Jesus is not Jesus, God is not God, that you got all kind of spirits whispering to you because you're eating from his table, his workers. They're planting those seeds. When a person tries to justify why you should call them bishop, you should call them the chief, you should call their wife the first lady, friends, run. I don't care how popular this is, in the heavenlies, in the spirit, it's illegal. We are brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. There is no other that shall be glorified in the midst of a real fellowship of Christ except him because he is the one authorized to forgive sin. So my friends, you have it right there. If you struggle with blasphemous thoughts, if you struggle with getting away from harmful, toxic people, if you are questioning your salvation, Ephesians chapter 5 and 6 tell us, let no one deceive you with empty words. Galatians 1 and 6, Paul asked the Galatians, oh foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you that you would believe another gospel? Friends, this is real. Colossians chapter 2 and 8, he, it says, See to it that no one takes you captive through philosophy and empty deception. So you and I, we can be deceived. How? He wants your ear. He or she that has an ear to hear. Friends, don't entertain anyone that mocks Jesus, tries to dummy down the resurrection. They exalt race and they exalt themselves. Run from them, friend, because you will end up getting that stuff in you. And before you know it, you're drifting away from your, your precious salvation, your childlike faith in Christ. God bless you, my friends. We must guard our ears like it's nobody's like what you said what no, I ain't finna be talking to her no more mm -mm, because you talking crazy don't let nobody just speak in your ear and that person God told you to get away from shut them down do not let them talk to you with all their cunning words and all that smooth buttery conversation shut them down. That's why many keep going back to fornication and adultery because you, you did not slam the door shut. The gateway to the heart comes through that ear gate and faith comes by what you hear. And many, you're losing your faith because you're listening to children of the devil. God bless you, my friends. Till next time, guard the gates.